So no doubt parenting is awesome, but there are so many times when you want to link other properties together besides those four that link with parenting, position, scale, anchor point, and rotation. The key to linking other properties is with expressions. Expressions are like After Effects' programming language, essentially like little codes that you can put in to control the numeric value used to drive a given property. Let's see this example. This is what we looked at earlier when we were looking at the Wiggler. We have this animating light bulb that flickers on and off here. And we also have this glow in the background. Let me turn this layer on and off here without the layer, and that's with the layer. And so I have this glow, and I want this glow to basically have the same transparency as the light bulb. Well, this was created with a layer style. So what I would like to do is link the opacity of the gradient overlay layer style to the opacity of the light bulb. Here's the way we do this. To make this simple, I'm going to select the light layer and hit the letter U to reveal all of its keyframes. These are the keyframes generated by the Wiggler a few movies back. Next, I'm going to select the glow layer. We're not going to change anything with the light layer. The light layer is already set and ready to go. What we want to do is have the glow in the background match the light bulb. So what we need to change is the background. The layer specifically we're looking for is this glow layer. Open up layer styles. And actually, you know what, this is really messy. So what we can do is hold the Option key and the Shift key on the Mac or Alt-Shift on the PC and click things we want to disappear. I only want Gradient Overlay's Opacity. So everything else I could just Alt-Shift-Click or Option-Shift-Click away, and I'm left with Opacity for the Layer Styles and Opacity for the Light Layer. Nice and tidy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the stopwatch for opacity, but I'm going to hold the Alt key or the Option key while I do so. When I Alt click it or Option click it, it creates an expression. And again, expressions are code used to control properties. So essentially, the default expression is layer style dot gradient overlay dot opacity. Basically, this code says that the opacity value is a result of the opacity value. So what I want to do is link these two properties. The way I do this is with the pick whip. Click the pick whip and drag it to the property that you want to control this property. And I want to control this property by the opacity of the light layer. And now it says that this property is being controlled by, well, in this comp, there's a dot here, meaning there's a comp. And in this comp, there is a layer called light. And there is a transform called opacity. And that is the thing that is controlling this property now. So we can click away to accept the expression. This number now, our value for opacity, is now red to indicate that it's being controlled by an expression. Now let's preview this to see what we have. So as you can see, the layer is now glowing along with the light bulb. And I've got a little bit too much glow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unshy these layers, and I'm going to take off the visibility of the adjustment layer. Initially, I was using that to add more glow, but we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to shy those layers back up, and let's try to preview it one more time without the extra glow. And now as I preview this, it's a little bit more obvious to see how the glow of the background is flickering along with the light bulb. It's a much more creepy scene because of expressions. And using expressions, you could really link any two properties. Let's say you have an object that's zooming towards you, and to make it zoom towards you, you're using the scale property, so it's scaling up. And maybe you want it to blur as it's scaling up. You can do that. You could link the blur of the object to the scale of the object. Any two properties on any two layers can be connected using expressions. Later on in this training series, we'll actually have a project where we use more expressions and we modify them slightly to suit our needs. Next, let's take a look at advanced animation using the graph editor.